There's something going on today. Out of box podcast. <laughs> There's something fishy today. Something going on. We gotta figure it out. Me and Shakiti, we gonna solve it today. Okay. There's a lot of things going on, and I'm just trying to be like. What is going on? There's a lot of crime. And me and Shakita, we here to solve it. For y'all. You get to understand it. here? Yeah. You hear that beat right there? When you hear that song, they solve it every episode. <laughs> and we go on to too. <laughs> Welcome to Out of the Box Podcast. We back, baby. So... The thing that is basically going on, we have two situations. We have Megan Thee Stallion, you know, her court case going on. And then we have Young Thug and YSL. And what's going on with that one is Gunna has been released from prison. Now, as you remember before, previously, when it came to Gunna, at the end of the day, the prosecutor was basically the prosecution or prosecutors were basically is like, you know what? Gunner should not get no bond or anything like that. Right. And they were successful every single time. But now Gunner just magically is at home. Now he was like, boom, pop, woo, whoa, not at home. Now I can make music again. Yeah. Crazy. Right. Mm-hmm. And you know, and it seems so very fishy to me that he has a whole statement. I am not a snitch. That's how the drink came on. I am not a snitch. I did not tell. And I don't but think I don't basically believe in telling. Right? So it's like, okay, all right, that's cool. But what made you have to say that? Because you left early on. Huh? See, for me. Something is very fishy going on. It's like Long John Silver out this bitch. We got to figure out Red Lobster, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just smell something kind of crazy. <laughs> so, at the end of the day, it's like, what's going on? Mm. So, you know what I mean? That's just kidding me. When it comes to Gunner, from, you see him on the shade room, he ain't snitch. You see all these things. So what do you think that he basically did? I mean, because it didn't date. Like when it comes to the thing that he get. Hold on. Let me let me look it up for you. Okay. But they're going to basically have. <laughs> and I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for basically tuning in. Having that patience so we can Absolutely. figure out this crime work. You know what I'm saying? We was at the office all damn day. We were just trying to figure out. Yeah, facts. Been on a r- move. Let's see. Like crazy. I think it's like Alfred. It's like it's called Alfred or something like that. Alfred, uh, Alfred agreement or something. Uh, internet's looking really slow right now. I don't know. I don't understand what's going on. Normally it's not like that. It's a DSL. Yeah. <laughs> that dial up. Facts, right? It's called the Alfred plea. And when it comes to the Alfred plea, it's saying that I didn't agree that I basically committed a crime. I didn't do anything. I'm just basically doing this because potentially at court, I may be found guilty, even though I don't agree with that. So what would make the prosecution be like, yo, you get that out for pre? What do you think, Shakita? Why do you think he got that out for? Play. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, according to the internet world, he's snitching. That's the only thing it could be. And I think so as well. <laughs> so I, I'm gonna tell you like this, right? So I gotta look up some more information, and he says it. We actually we're gonna play it for you. We we want you to hear. This when it comes to what has happened with Gunner. Because, you know, we're going to get our facts straight. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. Let's see that right here. 
Yeah, I can't do it like how they did it. Like, I'll be, you know, the funny thing is, Katie, like, what made them come up with that beat? They're like, oh, that's going to be a jam. Right. It's crazy. That, <laughs> that's going to be it right there. Let's see here. Like, the yeah. guitars, it is crazy. You feel me? Let's see here. Here we go. Where we go? Got it right here. Mm-hmm. I became affiliated with YSL. What? Okay. Loading. Is that true as it pertains to you, Mr. Kitchens? Yes, ma'am. YSL is a music label and a game, and you have personal knowledge that members or associates of YSL have committed crimes in furtherance of the game. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You were present when law enforcement officers stopped the vehicle in which you were present along with Jeffrey Williams, wherein hydrocodone, methamphetamines, and a firearm were recovered. These items did not belong to you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And do you acknowledge the following statement? I recognize, except deeply regret, that my talent and music indirectly furthered YSL the game to the detriment of my community. YSL as a game must end. Is that your statement? Must or not? end. God damn. Yes. On his court appearance Wednesday, the judge read out stipulations of the plea agreement that. Who? That sounds like a nigga that's snitching. That sounds like he basically said that YSL is a game. It is a game. But well, he said it needs to stop movement. too. Exactly. That's why. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, okay, all right. Sheesh, I didn't see that. Part. So it's like when you say that I need it, basically needs to stop. That's kind of crazy because I mean that doesn't look good for Young Thug. You know what I mean? Yeah. I understand. I, I look. First of all, I want you to understand. Okay, all the hood niggas out there appreciate y'all. But at the end of the day, I ain't a hood nigga. But I don't know. In the hood nigga politics, that sound like a snitch. Okay, because <laughs> number one, the fact that he said that was crazy. Shakiti, what do you think right there? Is that snitching? See, I don't think I've seen the whole entire clip before, but ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, even like a snitch. Yeah, right. Snitch, snitch, it, snitch nigga. You, you know what's so crazy, <laughs> right? Yeah, we should have had that joke for that. Right. So, you know, the craziest thing is it's like, it's funny. People had so many jokes about him snitching. They was like, yeah, that nigga snitch over cheeseburger or whatever, right? And I'm like, for real, y'all think that? Like, where y'all hear that from? And then uh, <laughs> I can't find the song for the love of me. And this nigga has a song. When the law comes, I fall off to my knees. I was like, oh, damn. All right. He oh, told shit. us. He said, <laughs> he said that in the song, bro. And what's so crazy is like, yo, wow. I mean, like. And Gunna got a song like that? Yeah, that's how the song and it's like. <laughs> The, the, okay. Shout out to DJ Academics He basically was showing Like the nigga Basically going to his knees Saying it It was crazy But you know What's so wild Is that you know I think it's just To me I think it is fucked up Because Number one You didn't put Young Thug In a in a, um, a good light When you did that You know I mean I mean, Don't get me wrong I mean I, I still can't say He's a snitch But that right there Sounds very crazy So it's like Okay alright mm-hmm. We look at it like this. People are going to be like, oh, all right, he's not a snitch and everything like that. He basically proved that way, right? Mm-hmm. So what's going to happen when you go to court? Because you made this agreement. Mm-hmm. Are you going to be like, okay, I didn't I didn't basically say this? So I want to get y'all to understand completely what a... Because people are going to be like, you know what? He can say the Fifth, Amon- uh, Fifth Amendment, right? See, the Fifth Amendment only goes between like you, right? So if I was like... Me and Shakita was like, you know what I mean? Like, yo, did y'all rob the bank? Right? Because I'm in it. I'm like, I don't, uh, I plead the fifth because at the end of the day, I don't want to incriminate myself. Right? But if it says, does Shakita rob a bank? And I know she robbed the bank. See, that doesn't incriminate me. Right? Snitch, nigga, bitch, nigga. Yeah. So that at the end of the day is like, that's a different story due to the fact that if I testify and I'm on the stand, I have to basically speak truth lawfully. Because if I don't, you know what's going to happen? 
go back to jail. And that's the crazy thing. Mm. And, you know, this case is very crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's like, I get when it comes to young gunner want to get his freedom. Multi-millionaire. But I understand, though. I'm not in the hood, nigga, on in these hood politics and everything like that, but, like, to do young thug like that is kind of crazy. Because, I mean, I hope to God I'm wrong. But this is the man that made you millions, that gave everything to you, and to flip on a nigga that have done that for you, to basically put you up onto a certain position is crazy. And I don't respect that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't give a fuck what anybody feel. Yeah. It's just it's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because he puts you on. It's funny, right? Because, you know, it's funny. I wish that I had the footage. I wish I could show you. It's like I remember the day before Young Thug got arrested, I saw him at a, a festival called Broccoli Fest, right? And I think he knew he was going to get picked up because the nigga looked this sick that day. He was like, mm, damn. This got to be my last performance. I don't know if I want to go on the stage. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Mm. And it's like, I didn't know, understand that until then. Because, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of people be like, you know, Gunna is not about that. Gunna doesn't have these kind of things. But it's like, okay, see, these charges probably, you probably wasn't part of the, the crew or these gang shit or whatever. But at the end of the day, it's like the fact that you just proved that it's a gang, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, what is your thought process on Shakiti? Because, you know, at the end of the day, I think that you might got more of a hood pedigree than I do. You know what I'm saying? You see, she got the hoodie up. You know what I mean? She'll, Don't you know, do that. At the end of the day, Shakiti got some bodies. Do you know that, what I'm man. saying? She Don't she probably spin the block a little bit. Don't do that. And, I mean, I think I can easily side with you and what you're saying, to be quite honest with you, especially after hearing that clip. Um, You know... Some people just not about their life, I yeah. guess. And Gunner just seems like he just not about the life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So let me ask you though, if, like if Young Thug did that for you, what you doing? You hood nigga, so you understand these things. He doing that for me. Hmm. Dang. Multi millionaire. Making millions. I don't know. It's probably more from that where it come from. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably more from more, more coming. Yeah. If I do that time, I guess. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I mean, at the end of the day, it's like I can't knock. I do knock him. Fuck that. I knock him. Because at the end of the day, it's like, as young thug. And you basically put you into a position. I feel like if someone puts you in a position, you got to respect them and go like, you knew if all these things, if everything what he's saying with YSL is true, you should have basically rode with that nigga. Because he was probably, he was broken as fuck, working on motherfucking crime stoppers. You feel what I'm saying? Doing little interviews. But when that nigga put you on, you came a multimillionaire, you came well, big houses. Question. What kind of evidence did they have on Gunner? Because maybe it was like already, maybe it was already exposing looked like he had participated in criminal activities where he might have not actually participated but because it was so much evidence he can lie so what are you supposed to do then i think like this is like even if you didn't know lie right he had should have figured out another solution because in a day like this right the reason why i think that he basically did plea out like that because he knew that he wasn't gonna win because it's like not like it's not a Fed case. It's a state case. It's it's easily beatable compared to a Fed case. See, the one thing that they had, and people don't want to talk about, Excuse they me. have recordings. They have all these things. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, when it comes to Gunner, they had a lot of information that were like, okay, I'm going to plea out. I get it. He's like, you know, I don't want to be here any longer. But they had a lot of information. For instance, when it comes to one of the founders of this gang, he's out right now snitching. You know what I'm saying? He told him some niggas. He know about certain things, right? So the thing is, is that he they had information on him. He was like, you know, I'm not going to win. He, have, he wasn't faithful that 
he would win this. Well, unless his lawyer was like, okay, we not basically going to win this. Because also, too, another thing, Shakita. Mm-hmm. So remember when T.I. basically got uh, all them guns? He was like, I feel uh, for my safety. Mm-hmm. Same lawyer. The same lawyer that helped T.I. when it came to all them guns he had, like automatics and everything like that, that should put you for 15, 20 years is the same lawyer. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Gunner or. T.I. No, but who sure? Gunner has that lawyer. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. So it's like. There's something up. But it's okay. It's all right. I'm not no hood nigga. But you know what? Let's get to more of the juicy stuff. Okay. So. What do you think about Megan Thee Stallion? Do the little. Ah. Ah. I ain't doing it. Hold on, hold on. We gotta, you know, at the end of the day. I feel like I look like a bum. You can't just do that when you looking like a bum. Uh, Not on your bummy days. You feel me? So one of the main thing is, you know, we're gonna we're gonna give a little shout out to Megan Stallion, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you can't you can't basically come with Drake, you know? It's just in the end of the day. It's wild. So, you know, for the song that's popular right now. Hey, you lying? Maybe. Are you lying? I don't know. Let's get it. Let's I get can't it. With him. Let's get it. Let's get it. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Let that beat drop, dog. Make this beat. Hey. So end of the day. Making a sign. This guy. I just want to understand. Like, you know, you think that she telling the truth or she lying? Because it seemed like everything that come out, she lying. Because all these women out here like, oh, God, Megan Thee Stallion. She telling the truth. Help a woman out. You know what I'm saying? And don't get me wrong, bro. Women have basically been abused by a lot of men. And that's unfortunate. But in this case right here, it's always that one motherfucking person that always mm-hmm. fuck things up. It be that black person that be like... White who treats us, treat us crazy, right? And then at the end of the day, you really realize that the motherfucking fucking Black Lives Matter scamming niggas. It's like, come on, bro. Like, this is like, you got to speak for the people. When you do this shit and you put it out there like that, understand it. Because your story seems shaky. You said at the end of the day, I ain't fuck Tory. <laughs> Look like you fucking that nigga, dog. It's like you fucking all the niggas that her friend thought was like, it was cool because... Number one thing is we gotta understand, men and women, you should never fuck the people that they talk to. Not go for niggas too. Friend code. You feel what I'm saying? Because in the day, it's like you looking like this. Niggas be like, man, yeah, I don't give a fuck about that bitch. Nah, that's not true. They do. When they basically put their penis in there, they feel like this is mine. I only want it for myself. Okay, but. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's like when you do that, that's kind of crazy. So it's like that friend never respects you. Like, Shakiti, what the fuck would you do if your friend fucked one of your motherfucking boyfriends or whatever? Or not boyfriend, just a nigga you talking to. Or a nigga that you used to talk to. First of all, I might slap fire from him. Mm hmm. I ain't going to hold you. Go ahead. That's what's going to happen. I'm probably going to slap fire from him. Facts. Period. 100%. It, it's no, I don't even know what else to say. So let me ask you, Shakita. Now, when it comes to, like, let's say you had the gun right then and there, like, and this story just happened right then and there, are you going to basically be like, you know what, would the gun be an option? I'm not saying that you would do it, but would the gun, would you think about it like, hmm, should I shoot this bullet right here, gun right here? Let's put it like this. I already told people a long time ago, I'm probably that person, <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably the worst person in the world who should ever have a gun. I black out. I black out. I, I black out during arguments. I black out during fights. And I end up doing some shit and be like, damn, did I do that shit? And Honey. So I ain't going to friend. I don't, I don't know. I, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's what I think. Like, yo, like, if someone did that, that's crazy. That's, that's like a lot of motive. You feel what I'm saying? Like, if Kelsey did it out of, like, Okay, we should not judge her. Okay, I will be on there. Free Kelsey wasn't in Kelsey, right? No, it is Kelsey. yeah, free Kelsey. I had a free <laughs> Kelsey telling. shirt. I'll have everything like that. I understand what you're feeling because in the, the day that was trifling. 
Megan Stein, you was trifling <laughs> for doing that. You feel what I'm saying? That was fucked up. Like, Say it again. Trifling. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? That was trifling. You feel <laughs> what I mean? Like, dog, like, just thinking about it, like, for real, like, oh, my God. It's like, look, this is how I look at it like this, right? If another nigga was fucking a girl I'm talking to, it just, it just flat. Things would go in your mind, like, if the girl, like, oh, my God. Oh, I never had it like this. That would basically be like, oh, that would go in my head. I'm like, bro, yeah. I'm getting the gun. Do you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, like, the yeah. crazy part is, too, is the multiple times. Oh, God, it wouldn't even got to multiple times. We would not even be friends. Yeah. That's crazy. We wouldn't be friends after the first time. You feel me? It's like, Megan, like, bro, like, you couldn't even let me have one. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Like, you did it fucking to multiple niggas. Like, the baby, you feel what I'm saying? You did it to Tori Lane. It's like, okay, all right. You know, so, and it's like, just imagine. All right, she keeps imagining this, right? One of your best friends, right? You say this is your best friend. And then all of a sudden, you at the pool party. And then your best friend acting a little too emotional. You're like, why are you acting too emotional about this nigga? You're going to be like, what the fuck going on? Facts. Like, that's the thing, like, Shakita, Instantly, like. Instantly, girl. Some girls be, like, blind. I be like, I don't know why I would. Like, that would have been a question mark right then and there. A hundred. You feel what I'm saying? Because, like, that would basically be like, hmm. Mm. You, you feeling a little too mean emotional. I don't know. It's like, it's like for me. See, the thing is, Shakita, they. Like, if we had, I don't know, like, nigga, we had a court, nigga, I feel like we'd be like, Kelsey, innocent. <laughs> you feel me? Because I feel like that's fucked up. It's like, for all these women that are like, we for Megan. Just understand, y'all for Megan. Just realize that your best friend fuck one of the people you talking to. Just understand that. What you gonna do? You gonna be like, you know what? I don't give a fuck about that nigga. No, you not going to be like that. Because you're going to be like, man, fuck you. Mm-hmm. Same thing as niggas, dog. If a motherfucking nigga. I fuck don't a girl know. You talk, you I say? feel like niggas be different. Like niggas be hitting their friends, bitches all the time. Mm-hmm. Like all the time. They be hitting their friends, bitches. So I can't say all that. And it's great that you basically say that because niggas are more emotional. You don't think so, Shakita? Um, honestly, I don't know. Now, I don't think when it comes to those type of situations, especially if they didn't care about the girl, a lot of times niggas be having girls that they just want to just like, just get their rocks off. You know what I'm saying? They just be want to hit just to try it out, to be quite honest with you. 